Good afternoon and welcome. We're coming to you from day two of the Fiji Symposium in Bangalore, the platform for all dialogue on financial inclusion. And with me today is Mr. Piyush Kumar, Joint Secretary, DBT Mission, Cabinet Secretariat. Welcome, sir, and thank you for being part of the Fiji Symposium. Uh, the Fiji Symposium is the first ever of its kind that's happening in India. Yeah, I, I believe it's a very good uh, okay, platform to bring all together uh, different uh, participants on a platform. The morning session was uh, quite insightful and went off very well. Uh, given the fact that uh, some very impressive gains have been, uh, you know, be, are being worked out, experimented in India, I think it is only opportune that India uh, uh, get, uh, was selected as the first, uh, you know, for the first for conference India was selected and that to Bangalore. Uh, it has been a good conference. Uh, there has been a lot of participants uh, who have, you know, different ideas have come and that way I, uh, for India and for uh, globally also this will be quite helpful in furthering the, uh, the uh, financial inclusion. When it comes down to the potential of digital financial services, what exactly is it for it to increase financial inclusion? You see, uh, uh, potential is in fact uh, uh, very high. Uh, as a welfare state, uh, the government uh, itself uh, spends a huge amount of money uh, on various welfare and subsidy programs. So, uh, you know, uh, uh, annually uh, almost about uh, uh, the government of India, uh, India's budget itself, uh, almost about 25% uh, is directly for the subsidy programs and uh, welfare combined. And similarly, if you take the state and uh, government, uh, central government together, almost nearly around 4% of the uh, total GDP is what uh, annually, I mean, where we are spending in this field. Uh, the problem has been there. It has been quite some time uh, there. You know, in 80s itself, it was coined that a single rupee, every rupee that is sent down, uh, you know, huge amount, uh, only a very marginal portion of it reaches the deserved, uh, the targeted group. Uh, essentially, direct benefit transfer is an attempt to bring all the technological advancements to one level where government services and uh, subsidy programs uh, can be targeted to the uh, deserving people. So in that sense, uh, uh, you know, a lot of things are happening and uh, it has really redefined the way uh, government can approach uh, uh, deserving, the targeting, uh, uh, targeted class people in a, in a direct way. Uh, also, when it comes down to the world's poor people or even from our country, what do you think is the reason for them to prefer digital financial services that are being offered over the traditional methods of cash? Uh, uh, there are two is in fact uh, the preference of course uh, has to, is that uh, once uh, digital uh, cash uh, system has uh, a direct accessibility so in some sense you become owner of your uh, you know whatever benefits are coming uh, in the if you uh, if you look at the largest uh, employment guarantee program the manrega uh, when the cash is given, uh, the, the, the holding of that cash and the manner in which it has to be spent and again because of the uh, you know, rent seeking behavior, uh, one was not sure how much money will be coming in. With uh, direct transfers coming to the bank, to that extent uh, there is a sense of security that whatever is my, uh, you know, whatever is my due, I, I'll be getting. So in that sense it is, it is a great uh, this thing and there has been very positive uh, you know, uh, uh, support to the uh, direct benefit transfer in, in, in that sense. But of course, the limiting factor again is that uh, the brick and mortar uh, branches are limited and therefore uh, if you uh, substitute one, at least earlier system, uh, the panchayats or the local government offices were locally available. The uh, banks many times may, may be further away. So if, if on average in a rural India, if you look at 25 kilometers to 40 kilometers, if the bank uh, branch is there, then to travel that much becomes difficult. Yes. So uh, what has to be done is that the advantage of digital uh, for to harness the potential of digital uh, financial inclusion, uh, the, the financial services have to reach to do the steps. So that is where you know a lot of things are happening and which have been today's uh, subject of discussion also. Correct. And when it comes down to the next steps of uh, the DBT mission, what exactly is it? Uh, the direct benefit transformation uh, when we were designing uh, uh, since very early, you know, uh, as I was discussed also in the uh, uh, in the inaugural session, uh, it was very uh, eloquently brought, uh, brought out that uh, the uh, bank accounts, the Aadhaar uh, as a digital identity and the mobile uh, uh, telephony, all of these in India are a billion plus. So it is a huge uh, database that uh, that uh, potential that, that has been created and in a very short period of time or a period of seven, eight years, a lot of this uh, this uh, uh, revolution has, has uh, taken place. So in some sense, uh, combining these three together, which is called the JAM Trinity, uh, so Jandan, Aadhaar and mobile uh, com combination, uh, 
uh, provides us a platform or <coughs> provides are the three pillars on which uh, direct benefit transfer uh, can be designed. Essentially, direct benefit transfer is reaching out to people uh, directly, to the uh, targeted uh, people or to deserving people uh, using these technology platforms, both in the subsidies and the welfare program. So today, uh, 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 Government of India has taken up that almost all the uh, you know subsidy programs and welfare program of Government of India are on these uh, will uh, are are being increasingly programmed on these technology platforms. And Government of India is also working closely with the state governments to uh, ensure that these uh, state level platforms or state level schemes also or funds which are transferred from central government through the state government are also brought on this platform. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much for your time. So thank you so much.